How's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here, and I'm gonna tell you how to keyframe smoothly in After Effects. A lot of you guys may already know what keyframing is. It's basically changing or animating an effect over time. But is it true that all of your keyframes look like this? Kind of linear and not really smooth. Would you rather your keyframes look like this? I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial. I'm currently in Adobe Premiere, but I'm now gonna go over to After Effects. What I'm doing is I currently have two clips. I have a clip of me talking and then I have a picture. I'm gonna put this clip of me talking over the picture. I'm gonna highlight both of these. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to replace with After Effects composition. I am now in After Effects. I'm gonna just save this After Effects project on my desktop, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna call it A for the heck of it. It doesn't matter what you call it. Okay, so now I'm inside After Effects and I am. I have this clip and I'm going to go to transform and I'm gonna show you basically what you already know. You can change the position in the X direction or in the Y direction just by moving it like that. I'm gonna control Z to undo everything. Um, what I wanna do though is I wanna change the effect over time. I wanna change position over time so it animates in between two positions. So I'm gonna move my playhead to the beginning of the clip and I'm going to move the position over to the far end. So it's out of frame. Oh, well, I almost forgot. What I need to do is I need to click the stopwatch. That creates a keyframe at this exact point that I'm at. It's going to lock in this position at this point to match this parameter. I can then go over to another point and I can create another keyframe. And I can then move the position parameter over to wherever I want it. So right now at this part of the clip, I have the position at this parameter where it's all the way on the left side or on the, all, all the way on the right side, but all the way over here, this parameter, I still have the position all the way on the left side. So if I press spacebar to play, my computer's kind of slow, but you kind of get the point. My, I'm able to animate the position from one parameter to another. So now I'm gonna do control Z, get back to where I was before. All right. And now I'm going to do something that you may have seen me do in another tutorial where I'm actually going to create a mask. I'm going to first click on this clip and I'm going to create a circle mask. Why do I do that? Well, a lot of the time when I'm doing tutorials, let's go back onto the selection tool. I want to make sure that I'm talking in inside of a circle so that I'm not taking up the entire frame so that maybe I can show something behind me like this picture of someone on a computer. So basically, I'm gonna put the position right here. As you can see, you can basically see me talking and I can you know, have what I'm talking about underneath me. I can reference it. It's perfect, you can see two things at once. But what I wanna do is I wanna actually do something that I've done in past tutorials. I want myself to start out off of frame <laughs> and then I wanna come into frame. So I'm gonna go off of frame. I'm going to keyframe the positions. So I'm gonna click on the stopwatch and I'm gonna to go to maybe right here in the middle of the clip and I'm going to create another keyframe and then I'm gonna to move to where I want myself, right here. Perfect. So again, I'm gonna move from the edge and I'm gonna stop here. Now, a lot of you guys may already know how to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to make this, it's a very linear movement and it's kind of has a very harsh or hard, hard ending. And I don't like that, I want it to be a nice smooth ending. So I'm gonna write I'm gonna actually highlight both of these keyframes. Right click, I'm gonna to go to Keyframe Assistant and I'm gonna to go to Easy Ease. And let's see what that does. Press spacebar to play. All right, that's a little bit smoother, okay? You may have already known that as well, but one thing that you may not have known is how to use the graph editor to make it even smoother. So here's the secret. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you have position highlighted. Then you're gonna go over to the graph editor button right here. And then you see this is the graph that is basically showing how your position is changing over time. You're gonna click on this last point and then you're gonna click on this little handle and you're gonna move everything. First, you're gonna make sure this is as low as you can get it right at the bottom. And then you're gonna move it to the left as much as you can so that there's a hump that's on the left side. And then watch what that's gonna do. Press play. Ooh, that's super smooth, that's awesome. You can of course click off the graph editor if you wanna see what you know the keyframes look like normally. Let's, let's see that again. Ooh, that's really smooth. I love how that looks. Perfect. Now guys, you can literally keyframe any effect, whether it be 
the anchor point, the position, the scale, the rotation, the opacity, anything. And you can also, you know, use this cool smoothing effect by easy easing both of these keyframes and using the graph editor. You can actually I have to click on position to be able to see it, it in the graph editor. Um, you can do that with any effect. So I'd like you to start a conversation in the comments. I want you to tell me if you have used this before and tell me some other creative ways that you've used the graph editor to create smooth keyframes to make your animations look even that much better. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.